Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic Sith Warrior Edition. And last time, we had a guest on the show, and that is, of course, Victoria Bubbles, my wife, which was absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed the episode, and it seems like a lot of you also did. Now, there are some of you that didn't so much enjoy that, and i got to say that if Victoria is actually on the show or in an episode of mine then I expect her to be treated exactly the same way as you would treat me. I find it actually kind of disgusting that many of you thought it would be a good idea to hurl abuse at her. Uh, but otherwise, yes, otherwise most of you were very supportive and I very much appreciate that. She appreciates that and we're very happy that most of you seem to enjoy that. So she will be in some episodes in the future, but for now I'm going to be flying solo because we are going to be doing a couple of companion conversations here. And before that, obviously, we are going to be accessing our hollow terminal. I've been informed that my soldiers are bringing Noman Carr to me. A pleasant surprise. I'll have the final word in my war with that Jedi. He will die a thousand deaths. His body and spirit are already ravaged. Don't you worry. I'll fatten him up before I breed him dry. I see you have a new passenger. Jason Wilson, I presume. You see it correctly. I sense her devotion to you, Apprentice. However did you manage that? I can be very persuasive. Marvelous, Apprentice. Simply marvelous. There's no denying you are a master of the dark arts now. Only the most accomplished among us are named as lords among Sith. You have more than earned the distinction. I hereby confer the title of Sith Lord upon you. You honor me. Through your exemplary service, you honor yourself. I award a considerable stipend to those who attain such a rank in my service. Enjoy it. Now celebrate as you see fit. Then return to me here on Dromund Kos. I have great plans for us. Wow. A lord. I'm impressed. Congratulations, my lord. You've both been a great help. Service is its own reward. Yeah. What he said. I already prepared Jace's quarters. I'll go ahead and show her to them. Nice of you to assume some initiative. I'm here to help. Come on, Jace. Let's get you set up. Whenever you need me, my lord. Whatever your order. I'll be ready. As it should be. So, my lord, now you have the girl. A victory, I dare say, even Barris failed to anticipate. You've become a Sith Lord, and your power base is growing. Where are your sights set now? For the time being, we follow orders. But soon, we set our sights on the Master. If my talents can be of help, I hope you will utilize them. I leave you to enjoy this achievement. Ah, well, I'm very pleased about this. We are no longer an apprentice, and I suppose the armor change is now quite fitting, shall we say. I think that's pretty nice. Okay, so we're now level 34 as well. Very, very cool. And as we can see here, we have a... Oh, we have a, a little bit of armor we could use. Oh, very nice. A relic. Oh, very good. Okay, so... And there's also a belt here that is actually better than what we're using, so I suppose I will swap that out. And, yeah, that's pretty cool. So I still have an experience boost running, and, uh, aha. Oh, okay, we do actually have another holo terminal call, so I suppose we'll do that, and then we'll speak to Vet a little bit, and then we'll see where we go after that. Ah, the latest lord in the Emperor's arsenal returns. You're just in time. I have need of you. My master on the Dark Council, Darth Vengeon, wants war, not petty skirmishes that tiptoe around the Treaty of Coruscant. But open warfare, Vengeance has tasked me with finding a way to compel the rest of the Council to tear up the treaty. Does the task give you pause, Master? 
The Emperor signed the treaty for a reason, but no, Apprentice, I see it as a great opportunity. I believe I have found a way to move the Dark Council and the Emperor happily toward war. Most think that our inability to find and defeat one man, General Karist is gone, kept us from outright victory and forced the negotiated peace. I've never heard of Karast is gone. Yes, even as the Republic writes songs about him, we would just as soon forget he exists. General Gon operates from the shadows, a phantom single-handedly preventing the fringe systems from falling to us. After years without a hint of his whereabouts, I've learned that he's meeting on Nar Shaddaa with traitorous Imperial agents. You will go there, and you will kill him. What is this meeting about? He maintains the fringe systems by anticipating our moves. These traitors supply his information. Anyone meeting with General Gon is guilty of treason and must be eradicated. We will not appear weak on this. I will punish all who are aligned with him. Without Gon, the fringe systems will fall. Control of the outlying planets will be a great advantage. So, to Nar Shaddaa and deliver Darth Vengeance red carpet to war. Now, is that a red carpet stained with the blood of our enemies, or is it just a regular old red velvet carpet? Who knows? But I do know one thing, and that is that we're going to be speaking to Vet for maybe two or three conversations, and then we'll be heading to Nar Shaddaa. You know, I was a slave when I was a little girl, before I got free. Sort of full circle, I guess. You work for a Sith, as all in the Empire do, but your collar has been removed. Right. I do appreciate the difference, believe me. My mother and sister and I were grabbed when I was little. I don't remember much of it. We worked the mines on Ryloth. Then they separated us. I got sold to a Rodian, then a hut. Then some sort of weird three-eyed thing. All of this while you were still a child? Yeah, I was seven or eight by the time I landed with three eyes. Anyway, I guess you know you've moved around too much when a Sith ship starts to feel like home. This is home, and this is our strange little community. I guess you're right. Watch out, I don't start calling you Pops. Have you ever heard of Noc Drayen? Pirate. Terrified the criminal world for a few decades. He destroyed the Wrath Cartel and the Vandalhelm Combine in some giant power grab. Same guy? Yeah, same guy. Weird to think of him that way. Noc Drayen was the most famous killer in the galaxy. But he set me free. I was still slaving it up for three eyes when he crossed Noc. Or maybe he just had something Noc wanted. I never did ask. Did any of the gang survive the encounter? You mean anyone that wasn't owned as property? No, they did not. I'm still not sure how Nock got his speeders into the camp. One minute they weren't there, and then they were. He was ruthless, but not a thug, you know? Sort of a pirate prince. Freed all the slaves and told them they could join up or go their own way. To truly lead and inspire fear, People must see that you are in control. That was Nock. Cool as the belly of an ice lizard. I was the smallest on the crew, and mining had taught me to fit in tight spaces. Nock's crew showed me how to steal. For a long time, I didn't feel bad about stealing. So much had been taken from me. It must have been hard for you. Well, it's a long time ago anyway. Let's get back to work, yeah? I agree, I think we should get back to work, but that is actually really cool as I think many of the companion conversations do mention characters that are featured in other class stories and I'm now just starting to think, hmm, that's actually a thing or a person that I've heard of in a different class story and maybe once we have experienced every single one of them, then we will finally realize that 
this particular companion or that particular companion was actually talking about this character, A, B, or C. And I think that would actually be really cool. So, without further ado, I'm going to be finding Karastas gone, or attempting to locate him anyway. Alright, so we have arrived on Nashadar, obviously, and we're just outside the phase, so let's head on in. I actually was riding Jeff here, yes I know, I think some of you actually wanted me to change Jeff out for a speeder or something along those lines, but I, how can I? How can I say to Jeff, Jeff, I want you to stay home today because, well, the viewers, they, they just don't want to see Jeff any further, and, and he just sheds a tear, and how can I, how can I say no to that? Really? That's just... It's just not going to happen, so I'm sorry, but Jeff is going to be staying for the foreseeable future. Unless he goes on vacation, obviously he does get a vacation every so often. And maybe, maybe he'll get a vacation at that point. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that Jeff really takes it to heart when you don't like him very much. You know, it's one of, the, it's one of those things where you just really... You know, you, you want to keep your mount happy, otherwise he's going to just jump off into some ravine and leave you there to die. Or something like that. I don't think Jeff would actually do that, but you never know. Ooh, what's this? This is cool. General Gon, I'm happy to report that Jedi Knight Zarinder has landed safely on Hoth. I saw to it personally. You're a valuable asset to the Republic, Faust. Someday the rest of the Chiss will follow your lead. The rabbit comes out of his hole. Nice to see my information was correct. Men, we've got trouble. Rally around the general! Protect our allies as well. I think I can guess who you are, Sith. For all of Darth Barriss' covert manipulations, you have banged around the galaxy rather loudly. Now Barriss has finally found me. I'll have to be more careful moving forward. No one can hide from me and my master. I was successful before, I'll be successful again. Sith, you are Darth Barriss' apprentice? We... we know of you. This, uh, this isn't what it seems. I wasn't born yesterday, traitor. <laughs> Attack! Save our friends! Oh, I was hoping that that wouldn't actually trigger an attack, because I really like... I, I don't know what it is, but I really like conversing with the Sith Warrior. I'm not entirely sure why, but I really like talking with him rather than fighting. I obviously do like fighting with him as well. I think he's probably the favorite I've ever had when it comes to combat style, but I, I really just like seeing what he has to say, and I like all of the intrigue that happens in the conversations. It's just really thrilling, I have to say, and, and that's kind of saying a lot because I haven't actually been this uh, or should we say enthused about an actual class story in quite some time. I actually don't know the last time. Maybe the Imperial Agent, that was actually really good as well. But I haven't been this excited. It's just like every other class story that I've played has, has been good. You know, it's been good, it's been great, and it sometimes it's even been fantastic. But this is just keeping that fantastic level at a constant state, which is actually really amazing to me. Not entirely sure how they're able to do that, but they're doing it. They're doing it. You will kill them all. Please, mercy. I... We will rededicate ourselves to the Empire. What did you help Gon with? I... I helped the Jedi land on Hoth, undetected. I believe he's searching for something in the Starship Graveyard wreckage, but that's all I know. Tell my master everything. He will have interest in this. R right away, my lord. Thank you for your mercy. Yeah, I didn't kill them. I don't know whether that's the right go or... Right go? Really? Right move? But I suppose we'll see. Okay, so we've arrived back with Darth Barris. I'm actually unsure whether he is going to have the traitors right there. And whether he's going to be torturing them or something along those lines. I mean, yes, I did not want to kill them, but I also didn't want to do the light side option. I want to do something much more neutral and sort of protocol-ish. Yeah, so we're kind of going by the book, kind of using our honor, and kind of sort of gaining some minions, such as Lord Rothari, for example. I think that's actually really cool. So, yeah, okay, anyway, let's head on in and see what's going on here. He doesn't have anyone on the torture table, so I suppose we should be fine here. Barris, are you responsible? Was it you who took out General Gon? It was, Lord Vengeance. 
The fringe systems are now ripe for the taking. Such an advantage will prod the rest of the Council out of passivity. They will see war is the only answer. You have delivered to me what I most crave. Pardon the interruption, my lords. Who is this, Beres? My mightiest apprentice, my lord, and the killer of General Gon. And clearly a dutiful minion who knows the meaning of respect. Rise, young one. You have served your master and your master's master well. It is my privilege, master. I am impressed with your choice of apprentice, Beris. It is time. I will send my destroyer to the fringe systems, and they will be mine before anyone is the wiser. The order is given, Beris. Enact Plan Zero. Benjen out. Excellent. I have waited a long time for this order. Apprentice Plan Zero is the systematic elimination of the Republic's top military leaders, a preemptive strike that will leave the enemy headless. Who are these walking corpses? They are the Empire's most accomplished adversaries, and not to be taken lightly. I have been tracking of the targets for years in anticipation of Plan Zero. There's no time to waste. Make ready your ship. I will contact you there. Ooh, okay, so we're we're gonna be doing something in regards to assassinations and taking out very important figures in the Republic by the looks of things. So that is gonna be very cool. But for now, I'm gonna be ending this episode off here, and next time we will be setting the table, as it were, and going to our ship and interacting with our holo terminal once again. So I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. <laughs>